be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because I'm coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best drum plugins for Logic Pro 10. These are all going to be stock plugins that I'm going to be telling you. So go ahead, buck your seatbelts. Let's get it. Um, first off, we're going to go ahead and start with a software instrument track. First thing I'm going to tell you about is actually going to be this um, drum synth. So if you have the latest version of Logic Pro 10, that drum synth is going to be a good start. I have a MIDI keyboard here, but I'm going to push Command K. Just let y'all see. All right, so basically this is uh, the drum synth. And basically what it could do is you can create your own like kicks, 808s, subs, stuff like that. You basically have all these different, you know, options here to manipulate the sound saturation you can you know do different things right here with different modes we had that gate on basically as long as you hold down the note that's how long it's going to play if you take the gate off it will play extended the K. Basically controls how long it is, you know, the note plays. So like if you want to kick, lower the K. If you want to 808, the K. want to save what you just did right there you can go over here to the default preset go to save as from here we could just name it boom and then anytime we want to pull it up it'll be right under here or you can go to load but anyway you can go through um, all of the different presets right here we got kicks snares same um, concept here. different options down here I mean it just is endless so you can just do a lot right with that alone just, just with the drum synth let's keep on going another thing we can talk about I mean most of the time we're not going to use this let's be honest this drum drum kit designer but if you like want some live sounds you feel me this is perfect you can come in here Click on each one of these. But there you have it over here. You have a lot of different options here. Um, you can turn up the gain on these and different things like that with the drum. I mean, this, you can come over here and do a lot. Same difference you can save as, and um, you'll have a different kit. Now come over here, boom, it's right there. You can pull it back up. Another thing we're gonna go to is the quick sampler. I know that's not necessarily a drum plugin, but I use it a lot for drums, meaning you can drag and drop samples right in here. Um, even right here in Logic, you can go over here to the Apple Loops and come over here to say like, um, let's go to this beat tape one. So I can 
drag and drop this in here. And I can go to slice. And now I got all the drums laid out. Change the sensitivity. Come in here, delete points. Right clicking on it, you can move these around. You can hold down option, zoom in by scrolling to left or right. You can take the time, come in here, move that stuff around. All right, and I can keep on going, but same same thing here. You come up here to where it says default preset. You can save as um, J Boom Kid. Now I can bring that up anywhere down here. There it is, J Boom Kid. Now if I want to cook up with that J Boom Kid, quick sampler. to you can go to load do it that way find it J boom kit and it's also down here J boom kit so those are some simple ways to get started as far as with your drum sounds you can also come over here and obviously do a default patch and then they have these, you know, drum sounds or drum plugins, if you will. This is like a BST, really, this library um, right here in Logic as well. Of course, you can search it there as well. types of sounds here man the last thing we'll talk about is going to be the ultra beat all right this is ultra beat pianos right here got drum sounds right here you can you know adjust the volume there drag and drop samples here Okay, you can save stuff and pull it up. I have this Rap Lords kit that we drag and dropped in here. Anyway, that's going to be today's uh, video. Appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave comments in the section below. Also, check out some of the free stuff I'm now offering. I have a free course that I'm offering as well as a free loop kit. Just check in the links below. Um, you can also just head over to the site, BeatMakingBasics.com. You can grab those free products there as well as get some paid stuff as well. 
Um, appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you in the next video.